you don't have to say anything. Just be quiet. You don't have to say anything. Keep your mouth shut. Welcome back to my fitting diary. My name is Tiny. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Everything you need to know about Prophetic Diary is down in the description box, as well as you can sign up for Keep When It Says emailing list at keepwhenitsays.com. Become a subscriber there so that you can get our emails that roll out weekly. Peace Society Circle, this Sunday, we're going to be talking about discernment. You're going to need discernment for where you're going. You're going to need discernment for in that mirrors because if you're not discerning, Satan is tricky. He'll sneak in and creep in where he can. You need to be discerning. Singular Ready Series, end of this month. Super excited about it. We have so much fun. And is that your God-ordained spouse? If so, or how, how, how is he wired? How is she wired? How do you maneuver through that relationship with your God-ordained spouse? Navigating the dating scene. Singular Ready Series, sign up. God gave me a word for you guys today, and I'm, I'm just going to jump into it because I'm so excited. But God wants you to, to know that you don't have to say something about everything, right? Some people... They want to go back and forth. They want to pay, are going to want to play tit for tat for you. But like our brother, Zach Pariah, right? He didn't believe the angel's words. The angels came to him and said, hey, Zachariah, you know, you're going to have, you know, this child um, is coming. And Zachariah couldn't believe it because his wife was in her old age. And some people can't believe it because you're in your old age and things have been stagnant for a while. So they couldn't believe it. So God had to mute Zachariah because he didn't believe the angel's words. We talked about angels in the PD society circle last week, but he did not believe the word of the angels that his wife could bear a child or have a child. So Zachariah was silent. His brother Zachariah if you didn't believe the angels, you didn't have to say anything. If you didn't believe the angels, brother, you just should have sat back and watch. And when we get into these marriages and these relationships, we get into these jobs and these promotions, sometimes you just got to sit back and watch the hand of the Lord. You don't need to say everything to your spouse. You don't need to say everything you feel to your boss. You may just have to sit back and watch. Don't tell your enemies, God going to get them. Don't tell your enemies, you don't got to say nothing. And Zachariah, um... Uh, did receive his speech back, but he was muted. Muted Gabriel. The angel Gabriel had to strike Zachariah. He had to strike him. He struck him to death and mute <laughs> to, before his son would be, to the day his son was born because he was about to speak something over it. He was about to say something over the promise that he shouldn't have said you don't want to be that. You don't want to be in a new relationship with old traumas and been unsaid something. You ain't got no business saying. You don't want to be in a new job talking about, well, I'm my old job. You just want to learn to be quiet. You don't want Gabriel to have to come and strike you and shut you up. All right, let's give Brother Gabriel a break. So I was simply sitting here today um, to give you this revelation that you don't have to say anything. Just sit back. God will speak to that person. God will speak to them. God will get through to them. But you just want to stay quiet until the promise, until everything comes to pass. You don't have to put in your two cents or your three cents. And this season of our life at Prophetic Diary, God is working it out for us. We do not need to get our hands dirty. We do not need to get involved. God is working it out for you. That is good news. You can be quiet, sit back, relax. God is not going to fail you. All things are working together. Your foot will not slip. Okay, so sit back, relax. If you feel led to give it to this word, put a hashtag on it. Hashtag quiet. Hashtag don't say nothing. Don't get involved. God will talk to them. I love you, family. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.